Hey, what's up, everybody? This piece is Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger showed up in the 1984 movie Nightmare on Elm Street. I was really young when I got exposed to Freddy Krueger, but I loved him. As Luke was my favorite good guy, Freddy was my favorite bad guy. And as you can see, I have the replica glove. I have a NECA figure that I love. I've always loved the art of this cover, and this has been a real fun one to, to do. A lot of detail. So here's the roadmap. Here's the start of it. Let's cue some music and let's get going. Zoom. So right here, as always, I gotta lay down the foundation. I started with black on the left side and I'm gonna come in with some reds and some pinks, kind of like a tannish color on the right. This is just for me to get the basic down. I'm gonna actually paint over most of this on his face. And this is just for me to have something to look at when I put the wash. And when you see the wash, it looks like I messed up. So here looks like, like, what are you doing? Like, this looks terrible. Ugh. But when it dries, I'm able to see all the detail underneath. And there's like that dark, like sandy color on the left. And then that flesh tone, that really light flesh tone on the right. And those are going to kind of be my highlights for both sides. And this one was tough because the left side of the face is in a shadow. So there's a lot of blacks that define that, that burned detail. But once I got that laid down, you'll see me, I'm going to start working left to right, just punching in detail with using uh, probably like four or five different types of reds and browns and pinks. And it was a lot, it's a lot of tedious back and forth, but once it all gets put in, you start seeing it take shape. Now I'm leaving the eye unpainted because I'm gonna do that at the very last moment. That's gonna be my cherry on top. But it just took so much time doing the skin. There's just so much detail. And then back in the neck, I almost forgot the neck underneath his finger. And once I was done with that, I was like, all right, we're in a good spot, we're in a good place. You know, let's detail some teeth. Nice and yellow and rotted, but wow, slow it down. Yep, I actually tried to paint with the glove and it was not easy. The knives get in the way. You can't hold a brush. It was really tough. So let's just speed it up. And then I ditched it. I was like, yep, nope, going back to normal painting. So I just uh, put the brown down, let it dry. You can always see in the videos when it dries, that's me taking a break of an hour, day, who knows. Put in a little bit of red. Again, it's darker on the left side, so it's like a darker red. It looks a little funky right now, but once once it all comes together, it'll look a little better. And that's the only green I got on the sweater. Here I zoomed in on the glove. The glove was fun because I did it in one session. So I kept everything really wet and I'm mixing the colors on the paper. So I started with that brown, I come in with some blacks and leaving a little bit of space for the shapes, but there I am. All this is still wet and I'm just mixing as it goes. So when it dries, that color is mixing. And here it is, here's the eye. It's real quick, just some blue. I'm gonna dry it in the middle, get in there with a little bit of green and then I let that dry and it's done. There he is on the on the artboard on the desk. A uh, few of my friends I've showed this to, they say this is one of my best ones. Oh, man, I'm gonna agree. I really like this piece, and he's kind of creepy. He follows you around the room, wherever he's at. Yeah, Fred Krueger. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope it didn't freak you out too much because I know it's a creepy one. And check out the new art on Instagram. There's always stuff going up. We have a lot of fun over there. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Take care.